In this video, we gonna create a flowchart to check whether a number is prime or not. We will print yes if the number is prime, otherwise we will print no. But before that, let's understand what prime numbers are. Prime numbers are the numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself. On the other hand, the numbers which are divisible by any other number including 1 and itself are known as composite numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. are all prime numbers since they are divisible by 1 and itself. Additionally, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, etc. are composite. In remark, also note that 1 is not prime nor composite. Consider n is equals to 4. As n is not divisible by just 1 and 4 because it can be completely divided with 2. Thus, the given number 4 is composite and hence our program should print no. So without further ado, let's get started. At first, create a starting terminator to begin the program. Now, we will accept a number from the user and store it in variable n using an input component. Furthermore, implement a process box, declare a variable and assign it with 2 as every number is divisible by 1 and itself. Thus, we should check the numbers between 1 and the number itself. Let's say div is equals to 2. Now, let's add a decision box to check whether div is less than n or not. If not, that means the given number is prime and hence print yes through an output component and end the program via end terminator. If yes, that is if div is less than n, then again add a decision box to check whether n modulo div is equals to 0 or not. If n modulo div is equals to 0, that means the number n is divided by div which is in between 1 and n. Hence, the number is composite. And thus, we will print no using an output component and terminate the program. If n modulo div is not equals to 0, then we will simply increment div by 1. In addition, we will also add a loop before the first decision box in such a way that it will recheck the value of div for each iteration. So whenever the value of div is less than n, we will check whether it divides n completely or not. And if it divides, we will print no and exit the program. On the other hand, if div is not less than n, we will print yes and terminate the program. So now, let's dry run the program to get a deep view. Suppose n is equals to 3. At first, the value of div is 2. As 2 is less than 3, the condition in the first decision box is true. Thus, 2 is sent forward to check the primeness of 3. Now, 3 modulo 2 is not equals to 0 which means the condition in the second decision box is false. Hence, div becomes 3 after incrementation. At this point, as 3 is not less than 3, the condition inside the first decision box is false. As a result, our program will print yes and the program is terminated. Thank you.